Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Snow slows some deliveries Thursday. Delivery drivers plan to make up for lost time. Working to deliver happiness for the holidays. Christmas is days away, so the midweek storm was not an early gift for all those working hard to make sure presents make it under the tree in time. The winter wonderland was not ideal for those men and women getting packages delivered, but it is December in New Hampshire, so most took the snow in stride. The assemble line worked overnight at GourmetGiftBaskets.com. The Exeter-based business was packing and shipping goods all over the country. The snowstorm didn't catch us off guard. Sales and Marketing VP Jason Bergeron said, We were ready to go in just staying in communication with the UPS and FedEx drivers that are picking up our packages. Bergeron said, Business has been booming. It's been a challenge but a fun challenge, he said. Our customers have really been dedicated to us as a company, and we've been dedicated to making sure we get gifts out for everyone of their special occasions. Snow in December did not slow down online orders, but it put a freeze on some other deliveries. On a quiet day at the Amazon Distribution Center in Hookset, many, many delivery drivers got a snow day with just days until Christmas. Granite State Dispatch driver Glenn usually is singing his way house to house, but that was put on hold Thursday. The company said they plan to get back on the roads as soon as possible. Santa Claus always worked in the snow, so I guess we'll work around it, Glenn said. We'll pick up the extra packages tomorrow and bring on a few extra drivers so that we can get caught up. Glenn said, cleaning your walkway and mailbox numbers, leaving a light on, and keeping dogs inside goes a long way in delivering happiness for the holidays. And that is it for this afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this afternoon news report. Enjoy the rest of your Friday and Enjoy your Saturday. I'll be back with more news reports Saturday evening. Goodbye, everyone.